going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about chucky in this video here today so we finally after months of anticipation and the outcome that many people who were using just logic and reasoning were expecting has finally been confirmed via the reputable trades we finally got that outcome it says here from deadline chucky has been canceled by sci-fi and usa after three seasons leaving creator don mancini heartbroken but grateful amid nbcu cable script sh scripted shift the report says Chucky's murderous days are over, at least for now. No, they're not. <laughs> Don Messina always already told us that this will not be the end. It said the series, based on the classic horror movie franchise, will not return for a fourth season on Sci-Fi and USA Network. The news comes four months after part two of Chucky's third season aired its finale on both NBC Universal cable networks. Chucky creator and executive producer Don Mancini had been looking to continue the series. He revealed in April that he had pitched a fourth season, saying at the time that it's something I really like to do. His enthusiasm helped spring the renewed Chucky fan campaign, which has been rallying support for season four. Needless to say, today's outcome is not what he had hoped for, but Mancini, who also created and wrote the movie franchise remain grateful in his reaction vowing that this is not chucky's last spree he says i'm heartbroken over the news that chucky won't be coming back for a fourth season but i'm so grateful for the killer three years we did have i'd like to thank he's thanking all the production companies our awesome cast and toronto-based crew and finally to our amazing fans a big bloody hug your incredible renewed chucky campaign really warmed chucky's cold heart chucky will return he always comes back this marks the end of an era for sci-fi chucky was the last higher end ucp produced original scripted series on the network the other one resident alien recently moved to usa with a significant budget reduction amid the sobering reality of the ad supported cable business in the cord cutting era sci-fi is now relying on canadian and modestly budgeted independent productions like electric entertainment's the arc for its original scripted offerings chucky was one of the signs for what was to come originally greenlit by sci-fi it ended up being shared with usa so the two networks could shoulder the shoulder the cost as for USA, after phasing out its scripted originals in the last couple of years, the network is back in the game with budget-conscious Blue Sky procedurals hearkening back to the network's heyday of hits like Monk, Sight, Suits, and White Collar. I'm going to get back to that point. The first series under the initiative is the upcoming The Rainmaker based on the John Gris Grissom novel. Chucky the series follows the murderous escapades of the notorious killer doll. Chucky crosses paths with arch enemies, old allies, and new prey as he seeks to inspire fear and mayhem wherever he goes. After his diabolical plan to invade America's children's hospital is foiled in season one, Chucky now seeks revenge on those he holds responsible, surviving teens like Jake, Devin, and Lexi, along with his ex Tiffany, now his sworn enemy. Now, I want to circle back to that comment about usa trying to capture their heyday of hits like monk psych suits and white collar because i definitely was someone who remembers the days of monk and you cannot convince me that continuing with chucky would have been able to even remotely capture the magic of what monk did i don't even know if if you were to do a show like monk on the usa network today if it would even be as successful but there is no way Chucky was pulling in the ratings that Monk was. Absolutely not. Monk, from my memory, was pulling in five to four million viewers. Sometimes I think even some episodes got six million. I wasn't the biggest Monk fan, but I just was someone who at the time of when it was still on air, I was very fascinated by everyone's interest in the show. I never got hooked on it like everyone else, but it was a very popular show and it definitely was able to hit the six million mark. Chucky never came close never came close i'm positive it never came close to that there's just no way when you consider the fact that this was in limbo for so long and it's talking about how they were trying to balance the cost between the two networks whatever they were investing in this show couldn't have been worth it it could not have been worth it if it took this long to finally just simply announce that your show was canceled whatever was going on was a sign that this show was not doing as well in the ratings like people are talking about. I don't even know where that's coming from. Where are these good ratings reports coming from? And what exactly are quote unquote good ratings if you're telling your viewers that the show has good ratings, where are the reports about these good ratings? What views and the viewership, what were they like? What were episodes doing per episode? Because when I look it up, I see the show doing around a million to less than a million views per episode now if they're talking about across streaming platforms i can understand that but the main home is usa and sci-fi and the fact of the matter is you could also argue that chucky was just horribly marketed 
Not a lot of people are going to be interested in the Chucky show because they probably didn't even know it existed. There's a big Chucky fandom out there. I can give you that. But there was never really an opportunity for that fandom to grow if your show is on networks like USA and Sci-Fi where people are not watching those networks as much as they are watching things like Netflix, watching Hulu, watching Disney Plus, and all of these streaming platforms, HBO Max, all of that stuff is what is becoming people's go-to for shows. Not that every show on these platforms is what people watch. And scripted television on the regular basic cable channels, of course, is still happening, but it seems to be a dying breed. Not every show is going to cut it on that network like USA Sci-Fi. Chucky, of course, is, is the latest example of being a casualty of that. This isn't going to be the end of Chucky. We're going to get a new film one way or another. Don Mancini already told us it's in development. But I beg the question, how is this shocking? The cancellation really should not be shocking unless you were gaslighting yourself into thinking that Chucky was getting some sort of record high viewership week to week. Again, being in limbo that long, the writing was on the wall. They could have come out and given an announcement that this would be the final season, but they came out and gave us a flat out answer that it's canceled. And that was the that was the announcement that I was expecting. That was the announcement that a lot of people were expecting just using logic and what was in front of us. This call to oh, tweet out renewed Chucky, something about that, while it again gets the fans to rally around the IP in the show. Why? Why? If you're that popular, why? <laughs> you don't need me if you're that popular. My time to show up was when it was time to sit down and watch the damn show. Are people not watching your show? I was watching. That's why I always like to say this. Those of us who were horror fans and fans of that franchise, Child's Play, we might have been watching it. But just because we're watching it, that should not then lead to us being delusional, saying, oh, well, look at this space where everyone's talking about Chucky. When I was not in that space, no one was coming to me talking about Chucky. Not the way they talk about Monk, not the way people talk about Euphoria. None of that was going on with Chucky. They were talking about the Child's Play movies. They weren't talking about that damn show. And I am going to go back and revisit the show because, again, those first two seasons, I don't have much of a problem with those. But season three, it was not going in the wrong direction in terms of just overloading on the wackiness, the goofiness. And now when I look back on it, I still stand firmly behind. It should have never ended on such a terrible cliffhanger like that. You should have never made a decision creatively to put those characters in those dolls. Because now I'm questioning, are you even going to be able to bring them out of the dolls? Or is that how you're going to tackle the new film? Are we going to be abandoning Lexi, Devin, and Jake altogether? Now, of course, coming out of the Halloween Horror Nights stuff with Zachary Arthur, I have confidence we're going to get them out of the dolls. But... Who's to say that in between what we get from then or from this season three that's now been canceled and the show's not going to get a fourth season? Who's to say that between now and then when we get the new film, there's not a decision made to just completely ignore what was done with the doll stuff anyway? Because I would even be mad at that. If you were to somehow tell me that that was all a dream, then I wouldn't be against it because I just think that was a pretty bad writing decision to make, especially not considering the show's canceled. And just to circle back to the thought that the show itself wasn't even being marketed that well among UX, USA and sci-fi. Shout out to you, James, because you have been coming to me, reminding me of this reality. If the show itself is not being properly marketed, which I can agree with and you agree with as well, James, let me call let me tie that into this other problem with the show. A lot of people, because you guys are already doing it in the quote tweets, you guys are already DMing me saying you're cheering it on that they, that the show is canceled. A lot of people, they are not happy that people are not going to be able to return to work on a show. That's not what they're excited about. They were losing interest in the direction the show was going. And these are fans of the franchise. The problem that I'm seeing when it comes to Chucky right now, I see it with Scream 2. When people are saying they have frustrations with the show, the narrative of if you don't like it, don't watch it, that's true in some regard. But in this instance, when your show is not being properly marketed, because if they're not watching it and you're not even doing anything to properly market it, you better keep everybody interested because the second you start losing viewers, that's going to lead to a quicker cancellation, especially, again, considering they did not do a good job marketing this show between both networks. They did not. No one was talking about this show. Outside of the spaces that I'm in and outside of just general conversation that might have had offline and just with certain friends in real life, I was not seeing people talk about 
Ch Chucky, the way people will talk about Euphoria, again, the way people talked about Monk, the way people talk about so many different shows that are more popular, Stranger Things, no one was talking about Chucky like that. When they talk about Chucky, they're talking about the film franchise. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.